I'm just ready for this moment. I'm just tired. I'm tired of studying. I'm tired of this shit. Good morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday. It seems like every time I start a video, it's on a Tuesday. I'm on my way to school. I did not feel like going to school at all. I really did not feel like going to school. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what's been going on. Because the, the last video I just posted was about, um, you know, taking y'all to study with me. But tell me why. So yesterday on my way to work, I mean on my way to school, y'all. Whew, just thinking about it just spoils my soul. You know, Monday, my Monday is my test day. So, you know, you want to be calm and you want to be cool, you know, collected, you know, you want to be zen. You know, you want to be zen when you know getting ready for a test, right? So as I was dropping, as I was dropping my daughter off, I dropped, I dropped my, um, as I was dropping my child off, I, I dropped them off at a certain location. It's not the drop off location, obviously, but multiple people drop off their kids there because if you drop them off at the regular designated location, you ain't gonna drop, you ain't gonna like get, you're not gonna like, it just takes a long time. It takes, oh, when I say a long time, like, I say less than a minute for school and just driving just to get in line takes about five, ten minutes just to be in line. That's not even to get to the front of the school to drop them off. Like, no. No. So, I drop them off in, a, um, in the employee's parking lot where the other buses come and daycare buses come. So, that's not the designated drop off. Now, now time, nobody has ever said anything. Nobody has ever said anything before I dropped my child off that day yesterday. It was another it was other cars there. It was other cars there. Other cars in the same spot that I parked. Same teacher was right there that saw it. But when I I get there tell me why tell me why this teacher wanna you, you can she had an attitude she had an attitude because you can you can tell you can tell she had an attitude she say this is not a drop off this is not a drop off like she was saying it like in and in her body language was like she was annoyed like why y'all keep dropping your kids off here this is not a drop off Cause she was like rolling her eyes, like putting her head up, like, oh, this is not a drop off. This is not a drop off. That shit, like, exactly like that. I had to get out my car to um, fix my child's pants. And it was another car behind me and they stopped. And I'm like, why are y'all stopping? Like, just let your child out and let them walk on the sidewalk. <laughs> I say that to them, but I'm like, I'm looking like, why are they stopping? So when I got out, and I, as I walked back to my car, she yells, yells. Like, it's like she's right here. And as soon as I pass her up, she yells and starts clapping her hands. She starts clapping her hands. She say, this is not a drop off. Ooh. When I tell you hot tamale hot, baby, who you clapping at? <clears throat> and then... She was assisting a um, special needs child off the bus. So I'm like, what the, f you doing that in front of this child? You clapping and yelling and stuff in front of this child? I said, it is too early in the morning to be doing all that. You ain't gotta be rude about it. And as I started to drive off, she said, she said it again, yell, this is not a drop off. You know what I did? I said, as I said you ain't gotta be rude about it there's a certain way you can let somebody know and it's too early in the morning for this 
and she didn't say nothing. <laughs> and you know what I did? You know what I did? I had my bad hair just yelling at people like, <laughs> oh my God. Lord Jesus. But, like, it's, it's early in the morning and then I didn't really take a test, so that just made it even worse. It just made it even worse. If she would have yelled, you know, okay, I know that's not a drop-off location. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And I'm like, let me just keep driving. The fact that her tone, her body language, like, the, the, those are threatening matters. Like, you are clapping your hands, yelling in a tone while you're getting somebody off the bus. Because while you were doing that, I saw the child's face while they were getting off the bus. What if I knew the parents of the child that you was assisting off the bus and let them know that you was acting like this in front of their child? You know that stimulation can trigger stuff in special needs kids? So you know what I did? I said, uh-uh, let me call. I'm gonna call and report her behind. And then as I was driving off, I said, you know, I ain't gonna do it. You know, and let me just, let me just relax. You know, I try to think the best of people like she probably getting tired of everybody doing that but then i said hold hold up nope because she probably most likely will report me because look at me i'm black with red dreads yelling while she's getting somebody off the bus but no i'm black with red dreads yelling back at you as you were yelling at me while you were getting somebody off the bus. So, she can switch that crap around real quick. So let me get on the phone right now. This morning is a new day. Did I drop my child off at the same location? Yep, I sure did. Was I waiting for that lady, <laughs> that white lady, to say something to me? Yep, I sure was. Did she say something to me? No, the hell she didn't. And when she saw me, her ass scooted behind the bus. Exactly. Scoot your ass around there because you don't you don't act like that. You don't talk to no parent like that. I'm not no child. You may be doing that to kids at this school, but baby, I'm not no child. That th Those are fighting gestures. Do not clap your hands at me. Like, do not like yelling and all that. Cra it, it is like early in the morning. It is too early in the morning for that so yeah that's what happened yesterday that's what happened yesterday and today she scooted and booted behind the bus so she good and i'm gonna continue to drop my child off at that same location <laughs> when i tell you ain't nobody in class <laughs> everybody is logging in online like and it is my back road it ain't so yeah, I'm at home. I'm logging in online. My med search class. I was in class for my PD class, but had a little stomach ache, so I went home. I got my monster. I need the energy because it's time to start studying again for our next test. So the next test is gonna be med surge. And as I said in my previous video, I do not study the same way that I study for PD. For PD, y'all saw, I'm not gonna repeat that. But for med surge, it's kind of the same, but it's really not for the most part it is but kind of not so basically what i do um let me just show y'all okay let's focus okay so this is my med search class right so that's my syllabus so i go to my syllabus and i go through and i look for the units that we're gonna do. How do I know the units that we're gonna do? They have a calendar right like at the end of this page. And these units that we're gonna do is seven and eight. So, where is it at? That's five, we already did that. Ooh, excuse me, okay, unit seven. Ooh, excuse me. So unit seven. So here we go, right here, it tells me the chapter that I'm reading. That's our book, that's the chapter that all this is from. Now this may seem like a lot, but it's probably like little small sections in each chapter. So basically I go to the very top, 
start the beginning of the chapter and each these are basically subtitles within the chapter so I take that and I highlight through the I highlight the subtitles that I'm supposed to read anyway so after I do that I read everything so after I do that I read everything I'm highlighting and I'm also writing down pretty much the same thing that I kind of did for PD so as I'm doing that um well after I finish after I finish doing that I take a sheet of paper and on my sheet of paper I write down each topic that I do like for this one um urinary stones I write that down um what surgery kind of not really that that's UTI urinary so urinary tract cap uh, urinary tract calculi I do that so urinary tract calculi I write that down and then basically I'll go through kind of like as in a concept map way but like in my mind so I'll basically be like okay well what is what are urinary tract calculi what causes that okay what are the symptoms from that it's basically a concept map but I'm just instead of writing it I'm calling it out because I already wrote in this book and I'm not writing no more. <laughs> so I call it out and my, you know, call it out a lot. Kind of like I'm just having a conversation with myself, you know? So I'm like, okay, well, what is that? What causes that? Who are at risk? What are the signs and symptoms? So, because if I know what it is and what it causes, then you can kind of put the symptoms together. It's not really memorization. As long as you know what it is, as long as you know the disease, you can tag the symptoms to it, you know? So, and then I'm like, okay, well, what are the treatments? Um, and then if there's any, like, medication, like, that has any important things to it, well, what is this? What this medication caused? What, are, what do I need to look out for this medication? Um what else i said i asked like what are the diagnostics like how do i diagnose it um what are complications because that's a key thing that our teacher looks out for so it's like what are complications and then um what do i need to teach them as a nurse you know what does the nurse teach them because that's like pretty much our questions are based off of like education and stuff so that's pretty much what i do for um med surge go to the syllabus highlight the topics read the topics get a sheet of paper highlight the topics read the topics write notes on the side of the other paragraphs get a piece of paper write each thing down as i'm going through it call out you know da 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 and any um disease that i go through that i'm having a hard time with i will not check it off so i know the diseases that i have not checked off the diseases that I have not checked off, I will um, go back over them again. So, that's what I'm about to do while I'm listening to that class. I'm about to put the crap on mute because I really ain't got time for it. I really don't. I really don't listen to message lecture. Like, to be honest, I've never listened to any med... Last semester, didn't listen to it. This semester, didn't listen to it. LVN program semester did not listen to it. My behind will be reading in class. If I had to be there, I'm not about to sit there and listen. I have reading I need to do because I can't listen to you because you're not going to tell me everything I need to know. So in order for me to get a good understanding of what it is, I do that. Oh, and also, if I'm still kind of having some type of misunderstanding, like I do not understand it, or even if I do understand it, just to get more information about it, I will go and look at videos. So the main videos that I will look up, and some videos the teacher puts up online, um, is this one teacher, like I think his name is Steve. No, Simple Nursing. I think his name is Steve, but Simple Nursing look she home too baby we all home <laughs> the whole back row but um simple nursing i look at his and then level up rn she is a new one that i found and i'm telling you like i've used her videos for med surge and it helps like this is my second test that i took this is my third test but the past two tests i go back and look at that video and those questions, 
my questions that I get on my test that I'm tested on are over and based around the things that she talk about. But baby, she be on point and she's good. Also, today is the next day. It is Wednesday. Yes, I do have the same shirt on. I put this on after I took a bath yesterday and I didn't do nothing but study. So, don't worry about what I got on. <laughs> yeah, so last night, oh my God. Like, when I tell you I BS yesterday, like, I BS yesterday. I was studying like on and off, on and off. And, and I think the reason why I BS yesterday with studying is because the fact that I know that I that my test is only over three chapters like my test is only over three chapters and it's like oh I, I was able to cram nine chapters within five days four days then I should be able to cram three chapters so I'm really putting it off but I just you know I need to stop <sighs> but I got done with half of the chapter of urinary and the other chapter is like about catheters and stuff so i'm like oh i know about that i don't need it <laughs> so i just didn't really i didn't read that part at all but i'm going to i'm going to so i'm gonna finish reading that chapter and then i have to do i'm gonna have to uh, um skim over the assessment and then um yeah, skim over the assessment of the urinary and then we're going over like your endocrine system so let me put this camera down or something yeah so then i'm going over the um endocrine system after that but before i start reading i want to watch this video over kidney stones because what is it no it's one yes 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 so there's um some stuff about kidney stones like obviously you know <sighs> Um, you can have a kidney stone in your bladder and your, um, I think it's your, your readers or your urethra, one of the two or both. And then, um, it can, you know, cause blockage and stuff. But the, when it comes down to the type of kidney stones and what do you have to do with that and stuff. And it's like more to it besides just knowing like what it does. It's more to it with knowing what kind I need to understand this So I'm about to watch this video of um, What's her name registered nurse are in this video is 30 minutes long her videos are so freaking long And I do not like that, but I'm about to watch this video and then I'm gonna go back and finish up that chapter and then I'm going to uh, um, review over what I highlighted over the assessment chapter and then I'll try to get the hormones done I need to get that done today so yes yeah, so, so today I'm really trying to do three chapters today I need to finish one chapter and do the other two today because tomorrow I don't have all day to myself so yeah because I work tomorrow night I'll be able to read but no so I'm about to do that and We'll see how far I get. You don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take me. So freaking tired. I'm so freaking tired. I'm so freaking tired. So I just got through completing my, um, what is it called? It's, I had another volunteer assignment that I had to do. It was, um, with it was at a high school didn't like it what i recommend 
not, I would not recommend it. Working at a regular clinic? Yes. Working at a school clinic? No. No, 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 no. I said no for elementary, hell. High school is even worse. I'm on my way home. Um, I need to finish studying. Today's Thursday. My test is Monday. I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, today, I'm gonna count today as one. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got four days to study up until my test. And then I got half, yeah, and then I got half of Monday because my I have class at, my test is at one o'clock. Yeah, my test is at one o'clock Monday. <sighs> when I tell you, I am stressed. I'm so stressed, I'm so stressed. And the reason why I'm stressed is because, like, I think, I think it, it has hit me. Like, oh my God. Like, when I say I'm so stressed, I'm so stressed. Like, I feel like crying. Like, and the reason why I feel like this is because my test is Monday. Today I had a volunteer assignment. I did finish reading all my chapters, but I am not comprehending. And I think I'm not comprehending because like all I did was read I didn't like go back and do my whole like thing where I write down what I, I write down um the information like like I write down like the disease and then I go through like in the concept map way like okay well what is this what causes this what symptoms will you see like try to put it together I didn't do that yet and <sighs> all I did was I, I read highlight you know my whole study thing writing down and then i did practice questions and then some of the stuff i'm like i don't understand what that is like how is that the answer like you know how so come on car so i'm just like oh my goodness like i'm just not it's not clicking i'm not getting it okay but I just don't know what the heck I'm going to freaking do. It's cold. Like, I'm just, it's cold. I'm drained. Maybe I just need to eat my food because I have not eaten. I gotta go to work tonight at seven and I plan on studying at work. Best believe I will. I don't know who they think this this is i'm studying i am going hold on i'm trying to fix my blinds man I, I just need to eat and just take a nap i'm not even gonna be able to take a real nap because i gotta get my daughter at freaking three o'clock this dumb ass dog Coco. i'm just ready for this freaking semester to be over with to really tell you the truth like I'm just so ready for this freaking semester to be over with. Because after this semester is over with, which is December the 9th. Well, really, yes, December the 9th. After that, school doesn't start back until January the 15th. So, I have a good month, you know, break. So... I'm just ready for this freaking semester to be over with, to really tell you the truth. Like, I'm just so ready for this freaking semester to be over with. Because after this semester is over with, which is December the 9th, well, really, yes, December the 9th, after that, school doesn't start back until January the 15th. So, I have a good month, you know, break. So, I'm just ready for this. Moment. I'm just tired. I'm tired of studying. I'm tired of this shit. Just ready. When I tell you, prayer works. Ooh, baby, prayer works. So, I need to find my camera thing because I can't hold this camera like this. But anyway, so <clears throat> as y'all can see yesterday, I was having a bad, you know, I was having a bad day yesterday, you know, with studying and everything. But y'all, <sighs> on my way to work, I prayed. I said, you know what? We don't have a good day. Release all this negative energy. Release all this anger. Why? Just release it, okay? 
I got faith. Everything is going to turn out great. And guess what happened? When your girl got to work, I had how many patients? 10. Everybody else had how many patients? 30. <laughs> um, I was supposed to get two admissions. I was the only one, I was by myself. It was me and another TNA. Who got them admissions? Not me. Baby, when I tell you, when I tell you, did I leave on time? Not really, but it's okay. I didn't leave too late. I, I left, you know, expectantly. And most importantly, did I understand? Did I? No, no, no. Was I able to study? Yes, I was able to study. Did I finally comprehend what I was studying? Baby girl comprehended. Baby, when I tell you, God is good. Lord, she's going to tell you. I was tripping, struggling. I was like, uh, oh my goodness, my test Monday. I'm not gonna be able to understand this information. Let me, um, the girl got it down. I got it down packed. So now when I look at the disease, like look at the blueprint, when I look at the blueprint and it's asking about like, it, it'll say like a disease, like nephrotic syndrome, this, that, that. And I'm like, I like things jump out to me because now I'm comprehending, I'm understanding. Today's Friday. So today I have to do endocrine over again. Saturday, I'm gonna do everything over, and Sunday, I'm gonna hit it with a bang, and we are gonna do it all over again as well. Good morning. So, <laughs> More like, good evening. So, oh, let me, let me get in my spot. Let me get in my spot. So, oh, hold on. <sighs> I just, what the? I just woke up and let me prop y'all up so I can talk and yeah. Okay, so I just woke up and it's time to get to studying. Yeah, so I um I think I said yeah, I mentioned already that while I was at work I was able to study. So I was able to understand the urinary system. And the only thing that I wasn't understanding about that is like, okay, so with the urinary system, we're talking about like um, catheters, <clears throat> the types of cath catheters, the complications that can happen with catheters. Obviously like that stuff as a nurse, like obviously I know that, but um, what else? Um, so that part is just like a refresher, but the other section in the urinary system like with the kidney like um cancer like kidney cancer bladder cancer um kidney stones was the main thing so you had to understand that so i had to understand like what is kidney stones the complications with kidney stones and then like the surgery and then from the surgery what complications that can happen with that what do you need to teach with that and then also with kidney um not with just kidney stones but with like kidney injury like a kid like like a kidney disease you have like other things that goes into it like the vascular portion of kidney i had to understand that which i did not understand and then like um the nephrotic syndrome i'm like what the heck is a nephrotic syndrome like what the hell i have to understand that so i understand that and i got that down so now it's time to hit the big whammy and this one is the endocrine system so we're talking about cushions addison's obviously you know cushions big addison you're not that big and then with the um insufficient something syndrome i don't know something where you you excreting or holding in fluid i don't know but and thyroid like the simple stuff of those topics i understand but when you start getting deeper and deeper like about like hypercalcemia and it is gonna correlate with the parathyroids and hyperparathyroids you're gonna be at risk for that and if you have surgery with this you're going to could possibly trigger this because this hormone is next to i mean this gland is next to this gland and oh it's too much so i need to go back through everything and look 
get my pencil, read back over the things that I highlighted, and then anything, any word that that I do not understand, I'm going to look it up. Like nephrotic syndrome, I didn't know what the heck that was, so I skipped over it. But that's something important that I needed to know. And now I know it, so it's like, oh. You don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, and what you do. That's why I'm fine. my love for you. Okay, so now I wanted to say this. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, so now, um, so on my paper for med search, so let's focus. Is it done? Perfect. Okay, yeah. So over here, I go through like for each sub title section like how you say quarter right there so like acromegaly we're doing excess of the tropic hormones hypofunction pituitary um which is you know low function and the pituitary surgery and then these are all for the anterior pituitary hormone that section so um i go through and first i write you know what is it, the cause, risk factor, symptoms, complications, diet, treatment, diagnosis, and teaching. This is basically what a um, concept map is, but I'm not doing all these papers. I, I ain't got time for that. So, um, oh my God, dog. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so um, as I start each section, because I already read it, so I, um, Remember most of it. Well, not most of it. I ain't gonna lie. I remember some of it. So, like for acromegaly, I'm like, I go through my head and be like, okay, well, what is that? What's the cause of it? What are the risk factors? And there may not be any risk factors for some. It may not be a cause. Um, it may not be a diet, but it just gets you thinking. So it's like, what is it? What's the cause of it? Well, what are the risk factors? What are they at risk for? What are the symptoms? And then, um, you know, like the complications and then the treatment. Okay, well, what are the, what, the heck? what are the complications for that treatment? And what diet and what should I teach them? Diagnosis, you know, all that. So that's what I do. But um, there's one thing in the pituitary with the AC, ACTH, I don't understand. So when I'm not, well, I kind of understand it, but if I, like, it was, what is it? It said something like with the hypofunction. So if you have, like hypofunction pituitary gland. So if you have um, a deficiency in ACTH that is like life-threatening and with a thyroid hormone that's life-threatening, so um, if you have a deficiency in ACTH, then it says that it could cause adrenal insufficiency and hypovolemic shock from sodium and, um, what is it, water depletion. I'm not understanding that. Like, what do you mean, water depletion? Like, where did water come from? <laughs> so I have to understand that. So I know with ACTH, I understand with, the, with that, you know, with, with it being low in that hormone, you're gonna have adrenal insufficiency because it's ACTH is adrenal cortico, what is it? Corticotropic hormone. So you're going to be low in your adrenal, like you're gonna have adrenal insufficiency because that, that's what it is, it's low. So I understand that part. But where the hypovolemic and all this, like where the volume come from? What the water? Like I don't understand that. So what I do is, I get on YouTube. This is my point where I, before I move on, I take me a little break. But my little break is still studying. I'm about to watch, um, find a good YouTube video, eat my noodles, and once I understand that, then it's like once it clicks, I I need to be like, oh, okay, I got it. I need to be like that because if I ain't like that, 
I can't. Like, I can't. place that I'm at I will not recommend but the money's good and I ain't got no real complaints but um yeah so on my downtime I'm going to be um doing practice questions and then um going over things again like while I can and then when I get when I get off today I'm going to um go over some things again as well um up until 10 o'clock and then i'll give my mind you know a little break from that and then sunday tomorrow i'm gonna go over everything all i'm so nosy <laughs> all over again um and hopefully and pray that i pass sunday i mean monday when i take my test oh my goodness <laughs> my stomach is what up y'all today is the next day i'm not sure if i recorded yesterday but today is monday and it is test day oh my god my stomach hurts so bad y'all stomach hurt when it's time to take a test oh lord my stomach hurt i just went to get me something to eat so now i am going back to the school to um just sit in my car and finish studying over just a couple of things not like really going in too deep in detail with the studying because it's like at this point if you still need to go deep in the detail with your studying it's like what have you been doing these past couple of days you know so um for the most part i know everything but after the review yesterday because we did a um a online like a teams online meeting review with the teacher which i'm so grateful for thanks lady for doing this because if she did not maybe we would be lost but based off of that review they mentioned somebody mentioned something with the acute kidney injury that wasn't on the syllabus like i said i based my studying off of the syllabus so if it's if it's something that's not on the syllabus i'm not about to read up on it i'm not about to look at it I, like there's no need it's not on the syllabus it's not gonna be on a test this freaking teacher has a tendency to put stuff on the test that's not on the syllabus. Now, if I wanted to be that student, and if I get answers wrong from information that was not on the syllabus, I can go back to the teacher and... I mean, I can go back to the teacher and fight it, and then if she don't do nothing about it, I can go, you know, take it to the next level and be like, look... I signed this. It was not. It was nothing updated. I even. I even reached out to this teacher and asked her, "Hey, because the first time I noticed that she put something on a syllabus. I mean, on a test that was not on a syllabus. I said, can you update the syllabus? Because I based my reading. I based my studying from the syllabus. Regardless of what you say in class, if it's not on the syllabus, it like you can't test me over it. I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. So basically, what I'm gonna do is just study that um go over that information i really don't know that much stuff on the acute kidney because i didn't read it i didn't read it at all so i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just wing it you know but it's just that 
What up, y'all? So, ooh, I just finished my test. I need some chaps, please, because my lips is pretty harsh. But um, I just finished my test, and your girl passed. Thank God I passed, because when I tell you I crammed, like, I freaking crammed. Like, I crammed. As y'all can see, I freaking crammed. But, um, I was able to pass. So, with working and cramming, your girl, what the heck? Your girl was still able to pass the test. I didn't see my grade, but I saw how many I missed. But, I passed. <laughs> I passed, okay? Th that, that's all that matters is I passed. And I don't have to do no remediation. I do none of that crap. Because when you make, like, below a 75, because we have to make at least a 75 on the test so if you make a below a 75 then um you have to do a remediation which means you have to do like practice questions and those freaking practice questions like it's a lot i think you have to get like 40 or no i think 80 40 or 80 right i don't know but it's open book but it's hard like those questions are freaking hard but, i'm about to go home drink me some wine chill sit on the couch I have a couple of things that I do need to um, start on. I do not have another test until like not next week but the week after next. So really this whole week I'm free. Like I ain't got to do nothing. So uh, I plan on picking up a couple of shifts. I need to get from behind. Oh, this car, this truck. But I do plan on um, picking up a couple of shifts so like i said pretty much it just shows you that like if you are determined just you know put forth the effort in you will pass bottom line um this test it wasn't i, I wouldn't say the test was hard it was i mean it was easy like i guess it just depends on if you understood the information like you just have to understand the content you have to understand it like if you don't understand it you're not able to put two and two together and answer the question so obviously at first i wasn't able to understand it and something like most of the things that i wasn't able to understand that like, i was trying to like look up videos and stuff on and i eventually understood it but those things that i did not understand was not on the table so um but it was helpful that I um, did watch videos and I did do the review. I don't have another test until, like I said, two more weeks. And then that will be my last test and then it will be time to prepare for my finals. I don't think I'm going to study for my finals to tell y'all the truth. So I don't even think I'm going to put a video out about me studying for finals because this is my whole thing. If I'm able to pass every test, every test, that means that for my finals, I have to, act like, I would probably need to make a low 50 or something for my finals in order for me to still pass, yeah, I believe. So, like, for, for me to fail my final, I would have to make, like, a low 40. By me making a low 40, that means that I didn't know any information. Now, I should not make a low 40 if I was able to pass all my tests. If you're able to pass every test, then this is, that's just how I look at it. If you're able to pass every test, then your final is going to be about, about the information. So if you're able to pass every test, then you should not fail your final. So this is my last test in a couple weeks, two more weeks. If I if I pass that next test, I'm not about to study for my final like for that period because I know I'm not about to make no 40 on the test. Okay, like based on my average, I would have to make a 40, probably lower than that, on my final to fail. To fail, below a 40 to fail. I'm not about to make no freaking 40. <laughs> okay, like let's be honest, I'm not about to make no 40. Even if I don't study, I'm not about to make no 40. So I'm not about to study. So I'm putting all the effort in studying for these these little exams so that I won't have to put in effort for this final. 
because when I tell you my brain is drained, my brain is drained. Like, <laughs> I'm tired. I've been getting angry at people and yelling and just, ugh. <laughs> I'm tired. School is just taking everything out of me. But I'm gonna end this video here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked my video on me doing um, study with me sessions, you know, watching me study, watching to see how I study for each test. Comment below and I'll do another one about my next test. So, I guess I will see y'all later. Bye.